Hi, everybody, and welcome to TensorFlow World. In this video, I have the privilege to chat with Kemal El Mujahid. Hi. And you are a director here at Google. You've been talking and the keynote today all about community and some of the great things that are happening in community. And I know you're fresh off like a, a trip around the world, right? Yes. Where we had a road show going on. Could you yes. tell us a bit about it? Yes, I'm, I'm very lucky. This is one of the best part of uh, my job is to actually, it is work yeah. for me to go and, uh, and, and go to these amazing places and meet with the community. Right. Um, I had the privilege to go amongst other places to Morocco, uh, Ghana, uh, Shanghai, wow. um, and just meet with uh, the local communities and hear about what they were building using TensorFlow. And it was just incredible to hear the feedback, both like the amazing things that um, you know the amazing use cases that they were coming up with, things that we have n would have never imagined, which is one of the beauty of uh, working on a platform uh, like TensorFlow, but also hear the feedback and see how we could help uh, organize the growth because the the communities have been growing so much yeah. and it's global, and so how could we best help our community thrive? So it's like we hit every continent in doing this, right? And it was and it was primarily a listening tour. Yeah. So uh, we had eleven events across five continents, um, and we heard so much feedback, which really helped us think about, you know, how can we best help the community? Mm -hmm. And it came down to three different things. You know, we really want to help the community connect okay. and um, discover the, the rest of the community and see what other people uh, have been building and, and share what they have been building. Uh, I think also we really want to help the community learn. There's mm -hmm. all these new wave of you know, developers and learners who are new to ML and can contribute and want to make sure to you know, help them learn about machine learning and TensorFlow. Mm -hmm. And then we really want to help them contribute. Uh, you know, the community really wants to give back and there's some awesome mechanism to do that. And so we've been wor working on, uh, on enabling those three things. So then for folks who are watching this video who would really love to connect, what ways can they connect? Well, how can they get involved in the community? Right, so the community has grown a lot. I think now we have uh, past the 46 million downloads. Wow. <laughs> uh, 2,100 contributors. Mm -hmm. And the, the community is truly global. This is something that we're really proud of. Mm -hmm. And so um, this is the reason why we wanted to organize something like TensorFlow World. Right. We wanted an event that was really about the community um, so that the community can come, connect with each other, discover what they were building. And this process is actually started to happen organically. The TensorFlow user groups, which started uh, appearing se seven months ago, and now we have 50 of them. Wow. I think the largest one is in Korea with okay. 46,000 users. Wow, really? Uh, we have 15 in China. And so, you know, chances are that, you know, if you're uh, watching this video, you might not have a TensorFlow user group near where you live, but they're TensorFlow users. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, if you're interested in, in creating such user group, we really want to help. Mm -hmm. So that's one clear way that you can um, you can get in the community. It's like one of the things I've personally noticed is that like I'm quite visible in the community between YouTube and teaching classes. So lots of people have reached out to me on LinkedIn and I see all these like little communities forming of people helping each other, doing study groups and all of that kind of thing. And you had mentioned that organic growth and I find that's really magical. That's really amazing. And that's one of the things that the, uh, it's most exciting about building a community like TensorFlow is you could see you know, people interested in certain types of use cases that you wouldn't have thought about connecting with people who are ML specialists. And when that connection happens, those amazing use cases are born. Right. And that's really something that we want to encourage. So as well as individuals, we also hear that businesses want to get involved and enterprises want to get involved and learn how they can use ML. And I know there's some efforts in that space too. Yeah, so we've heard from businesses that, oh, uh, we have this problem and we heard that it might be um, a good problem to solve by with machine learning, but we don't necessarily know where to start. And on the other hand, we hear from partners who say, well, you know, we're really good at machine learning and we love TensorFlow and, you know, how can you, can you connect us with enterprises who have those needs? And so this is why we launched the Trusted Partner Pilot Program to help connect enterprises uh, who have a you know uh, business problem who could be resolved with ML and TensorFlow with partners who know how to do that. And it's only just launched, but I hear there's some success already. Yes, it's already just launched. Uh, if you go on TensorFlow.org, you can learn more about that. Uh, but there's been some really interesting use cases uh, in the insurance industry, in global uh, med tech industry. Okay. Um, and again, if you're a business and you're interested in uh, getting involved into ML, I think there's this staggering statistic that uh, 
Uh, AI is going to add $13 trillion to the global economy in the next 10 years. Right. S and, and right now, uh, enterprises have, are just starting their transition to machine learning. So now is a really good time to start investing. And if you need help, uh, then you can reach out to those trusted partners. Also, another side of that, which we're excited about, is if you're a partner yourself, you know, and you want to get visibility and you want uh, to help enterprises with their machine learning needs with TensorFlow, then you should totally reach out. Cool. So then there's the second thing you mentioned was like for people to learn. So there's the, the folks who would love to be part of these communities, but they're not there yet. They don't, they're not up to speed or they don't have the knowledge yet, but we want to make that as easy as possible for them to learn. So what's going on in that space? Right, so we've been investing a lot, as you very well know. <laughs> uh, a loaded question. <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, on, on education material, mm -hmm. and especially with deep learning and AI, mm -hmm. uh, to just help onboard this new generation of machine learning practitioners and make sure that you know, regardless of what their prior experience with machine learning, they get to join the, com uh, the community and contribute. Right. So we're really excited to see this new course launching and thank you, Lawrence, for <laughs> helping with that. Uh, and we've, we've really been inspired to see hundreds of thousands Mm. of people just completing these courses mm -hmm. and then starting to apply machine learning to real life problems. Uh, there's, there's this to me, there's this interesting thrust going on where there's all of this inspiration about these things that you can do on the one hand and then us trying to show people that they can do it as well. There's no imposter syndrome. People can learn, people can do this for themselves and then when these two things come together, communities are formed, communities grow, and the, the magical stuff you've mentioned. I exactly, happens. I think there's, you can get involved at, uh, regardless of what your prior experience on machine learning is. Mm -hmm. uh, again, because those tools are becoming so uh, accessible, uh, so easy to use, and there's so much uh, you know, educational content available. We just launched our Learn ML uh, web, um, webpage right. on the website which organizes all these educational materials for you. Uh, and it's organized by level, so you could, you could start with beginner or advanced right away. And then it's all organized, you could see you know, the, the videos and um, the books um, mm -hmm. and the tutorials, which lead you to being able to apply machine learning to solve your, your use case. And the website you mentioned is tensorflow.org. Tensorflow.org, People should yes. definitely go check it out. Yes, go check tensorflow.org. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, beyond then, like being part of the community and learning, then there's taking the next step and actually contributing yes. back to the community. And there's lots of great stuff going on there that you spoke about in the keynote. And could you give us a quick summary? Yeah, so I would say the first thing to do is to reach out to your local machine learning GDE. We have, I think now, uh, 126 uh, GDEs, we really love GD, our GDEs, they're amazing and they've been organizing so much awesome things happening in the community. Uh, one thing being the Doc Sprints, um, right. which is a new thing this year. Uh, we've been uh, hearing those amazing stories of uh, you know, groups organizing to translate documents or update documents for 2.0. Um, you know, going through power outages and, s and staying there <laughs> and just making sure yeah. that they finish their doc sprint, uh, actually um, translate documents on their phone. Wow. So, I mean, this is incredibly inspiring mm -hmm. um, and we really want to support that. So, if it's something that uh, I personally heard when I was in Morocco, like where's the documentation in Arabic mm -hmm. for, for TensorFlow? Well, you know, if, if you're interested, uh, in translating uh, the documentation, whether it's Arabic or another language that's not available, then you could reach out and the GDEs can, uh, can help you organize a doc sprint. Right. Part of what's great about this is that with TensorFlow generally being open source, there's so many ways that someone can contribute, right? Doc sprints that you've mentioned, people can check, they can check source code into the product itself. Exactly. Um, there is like being able to build models and distribute them via things like TensorFlow Hub. There, there's just so many ways, right? There's just so many ways and that's the beauty of uh, open source. And uh, to facilitate um, contributing code, we've created special interest groups or SIGs, right. which focus on specific parts of TensorFlow that you, you know, users might be more passionate about. Mm. And so we have 11 SIGs now uh, going from IO networking to specific languages like you know, Keras or Swift. Right. So that's one area. Another really exciting way to contribute is actually through competitions. Okay. Uh, and so back in the Dev Summit um, in March, we launched our 2.0 hackathon on DevPost. Okay. Uh, and we've had some amazing contributions. And for the grand prize winners, um, we were going to fly them to uh, TensorFlow World okay. and host them. And so we were, that's what we did. And we had uh, 
actually two recipients, uh, Victor and Kyle. Okay. Uh, who uh, Victor worked on Handtrack JS, and Kyle worked on uh, Nbody.ai. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to see, you know, uh, all this uh, contribution and and all these projects, and to be able, you know, to uh, to host the winners here. And one thing we heard, uh, I heard also in listening to her, people saying, oh. We missed it. You know, we s <laughs> we really wanted to do this uh, this hackathon When's with the next one, <laughs> uh, and we missed it. Well, uh, the next one just started, as you know, and so we just launched a new uh, hackathon on DevPost, mm. and we're really uh, we we are looking forward to see what people are going to build. Right. And I think the one thing is that I would encourage anybody to take part in something like this. You don't have to be an expert yet, right? Get up to speed, learn these things, try out a hackathon. It's often it's the most creative ideas as opposed to the most skilled people that actually win. I love that hand tracking one that you mentioned. That Absolutely. I think looking through what other people have built, getting inspired by your own experience and what you see around yourself and the problems that you're passionate about, mm. and then taking a tool like TensorFlow and with all the educational uh, uh, resources that are available is really the magic of a platform. Right. And so uh, if somebody wants to get started, they've watched this video, they're excited to get involved in some way or another, where would you recommend that they go to check things out? Tensorflow.org. Okay. It I all knew starts you were at say that. Yes, <laughs> Tensorflow.org. We really organized uh, all the uh, action items that you could take. Um, what I would like to say is really, there's an ML revolution happening. Uh, the community is growing. Join the movement. It doesn't matter whether you know you're an ML uh, PhD or you're uh, just getting started or you're a developer who has an idea. There, there's there's a lot to do for everyone. Yeah. The community is really growing, so join the machine learning revolution with TensorFlow. And there's never been a better time. Never been a better time. <laughs> so thank you so much, Kamal, and thanks everybody for watching this episode. If you have any questions for me or if you have any questions for Kamal, just leave them in the comments below, and we'll be sure to reach out. Thanks again. Thank you.